Hi! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And I'm back today to do my review for Hammer and Crucible by Cameron Cooper, one of our self-published science fiction contest finalists. A quick synopsis of this. This follows Danny, who in a world where you can rejuvenate and live several centuries, has decided that she is ready to die. And that's all you really know at the very beginning, until a woman comes and punches her, and it ends up that is her granddaughter. And her granddaughter thinks that she authorized a transfer for the granddaughter's father, Danny's son, to a shadow organization, which then led to his death. So granddaughter is not happy. Danny at first is like, ah, yeah, I'm too old to care. I've already decided to die. I... There's no way that I can figure any of this out. And then becomes intrigued into the mystery of what happened to her son, especially the events surrounding his death. Because when he died, he was considered disgraced. His mom, Danny, who was called the Imperial Hammer, was forced into retirement, and his daughter, Juliana, the one who punched Danny, was a lieutenant in the Space Rangers and has since been knocked down to a private and been at a private ever since. What has been reported about his death, those actions have affected his family members, and not just the family members, other people who had interacted with him at around that time. And so Danny decides to join Juliana, trying to figure out what is going on. A pro for this book for me is it has badass women. Badass women who not only can fight and give it as good as they got, but also have the intelligence to work around the problems that have come their way. A con for me is at the end, even though that this book is very character focused and meaning the character is the one who is making decisions and then things are happening based off of that. The ending with the big reveal wasn't based off of what Danny learned. Instead, she got to the end and someone then told her what had been happening. And I don't like that. I like, especially when it comes to the climax, that the main character figures it out and not that someone goes, oh, by the way, this is what's going on behind you. Especially because Danny had already proven that she's intelligent and she can figure things out that's happening around her. So that was kind of a lit down at the end of the book. Of course, the book is the first in a series. So then it's left me questioning, do I want to continue with the series or is this going to be a pattern that keeps happening? I was having a lot of fun with this book. It could have gone longer to give Danny the space to figure it out. A pro, it is character driven, except for, like I said, the end. You know, Danny makes a decision, things happen. There are a couple places that kind of feels like they're plot conveniences. And then with the ending, it makes sense that more, more someone was pulling the strings and Danny clocked that, hey, this is a really weird coincidence, but it's working for me. So I'm questioning it, but not necessarily going to be overly suspicious where I reject it kind of mentality. A pro for me is I love Lytheon. He is an AI that you meet about a fourth of the way into the book, fourth to a third, somewhere around there. And I just love a snarky AI who also does interesting things with within his spaceship. If you like sci-fi that has AI, this definitely is going to be a good book for you. So a pro, 
this is a sci-fi setting. I, I love those. And while things like the rejuvenation technology is not new, I think how Cooper approached the wormhole technology was interesting. And then also the ship Lythian, who is also the AI, the interior of that ship I thought was a really cool concept and especially what Lythian can do inside of the ship. It has some great, or has some really fun technology. So overall, I really enjoyed this book. It works for me, as I'm a huge space opera reader. Kind of actually made me think of John Scalzi and the Interdependency series, except you don't have multiple POVs. So yeah, I think that if you like modern sci-fi, that this is one that you potentially will really enjoy. If you have read it already, I would love to hear your thoughts. Please put them down below. Thank you and have a great day.